Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little comparison here of some Android Nugget devices as well as the iPhone 7 on its latest software. Uh, so we have got uh, Android Nugget 7.0 official on the S7 Edge, LG V20, Google Pixel XL. I wanted to compare the speed and the day-to-day uh, -day software experience because they do get quite offer a different experience on all of them and you need to factor this in you know when you're thinking about buying a high-end phone these phones will set you back a hell of a lot of money uh, when it comes to you know the amount that they do cost so uh, we're going to just start up at the same time here if we can and then uh, basically see the performance so let's get them all on And I'm thinking Sammy's going to win. Oh no, iPhone wins still. So you can see the iPhone's still very fast here, even compared to the latest software on Android Camp. Annoying thing about this is that the brightness keeps going down, but you know we can change it quite quick. LG V20 is faster than the Pixel XL as well, which is very nice to see, because usually LG is quite slow. Although the actual uh, app kind of draw here it does take some time to uh, orientate itself. I think the pixel is a little bit faster there generally. Uh, so we're just going to have a look at the software here then between them all. Uh, you can see we're getting a stock uh, kind of build on the pixel uh, which uh, comes with the pixel launcher which you can actually put on other devices if you do want. Uh, it gives you uh, some nice contextual features such as the Google Assistant integration. Quickly access things here on the swipe which is quite nice. Uh, on the S7 Edge we're getting uh, the new kind of touch whiz here. Some things I do like about it, some things I don't such as the brightness being all the way down there. Uh, but it does look uh, very nice and fresh here. I think Samsung's definitely making the most effort when it comes to uh, the Android experience here, everything looks really different. Uh, you do get on all of them the uh, little uh, pop-ups here that come when you want to uh, go into something else. So I think you can also do that on the uh, the V20 here maybe, or is it not? So I think with the V20 you get uh, the ability to change the icons on the V20 skin, which is a little bit different than uh, what other Nugget devices are doing. Uh, because obviously as I said you know with the the uh, edge here you can see uh, you can do little things here uh, when you hold it down so that uh, is quite nice I think they all allow you to do multitasking although they've changed it on the S7 edge obviously uh, so you will have to open up a few apps here uh, to do that and then once you've opened them up you can grab them and uh, split screen them quite quick uh, it can be a little bit of a chore doing it uh, we don't get any of that on the iPhone unfortunately uh, which you know, I would like to see maybe but the iPhone does I think give you a little bit better in terms of the uh, information uh, kind of stuff here coming on the left it seems to get more info than what you do get on for example Samsung's uh, like uh, TouchWiz News and the Google kind of news ticker uh, and also as I've said before uh, the iPhone seems to be a bit more ahead when it comes to the lock screen as well kind of uh, making it a bit more lively uh, whereas the others are a little bit boring but nevertheless I think the V20 has a trunk card obviously it has a dual screen here and uh, you know that uh, is quite nice particularly when you're using the camera you can see the controls come upon the dual screen component uh, when you're in the gaming etc you get some additional controls that do come upon there uh, so that's its claim to frame uh, the S7 Edge obviously has its uh, edge panel here which is very nice as well to uh, get access to different uh, functionality uh, I think the Pixel in comparison is a little bit boring, you know, it, it doesn't really have anything uh, like uh, quite interesting. I think the most interesting thing it does have is obviously the Google Assistant, which is far better than any other thing, uh, which can really, you know, help you 
search for things but other than that it's got the same size bezel as the iPhone here and there's no real uh, special software features really uh, so that's a little bit boring so just gonna have a look here at the uh, performance then so we have uh, you know had a little chat about them uh, so we just uh, get up speed test here see what the synthetics bring So you can see LG V20 is not the fastest kid on the block when it comes to the Wi-Fi. I certainly would expect better for the amount I paid for it. And as I remember, Pixel doesn't disappoint with this uh, thing. Probably the best scores I've ever seen actually. Which, you know, props to the Snapdragon 821, which hopefully will be that good in the OnePlus 3T as well. And we're getting, uh, I think, iPhone uh, with uh, the Intel chip here in Europe. So there is... Uh, less uh, performance apparently than what you get with the Qualcomm as you can see but it's still very decent you know it's not going to uh, keep you up at night and finally the shining night on the right is the winner <laughs> end of the video <laughs> so you know you can see here s7 edge doesn't mess around showing you this how it's done both for the upload and the download and uh, you know that's pretty awesome given how many times I've dunked it in soda etc uh, so you know maybe LG could do a little bit better next year you know uh, bringing something a bit better to the table uh, but uh, you know I think uh, really you can see here there is a lot of variety when it comes to your Android uh, you know we even have the uh, the uh, OnePlus 3 uh, which uh, the OnePlus 3T obviously I don't have it yet because uh, many of these manufacturers don't care about Europe when it comes to releasing phones so they do take their sweet time but uh, you know, I think uh, it's definitely uh, something to consider as well because it's like, you know, very affordable uh, and makes these phones look very kind of expensive. Uh, but, you know, what do you think? Do you, do you like uh, any phone in particular? Personally, I think Samsung's doing the most effort when it comes to the software experience, uh, really. I'm really looking forward to the S8. Uh, I think that we should have probably the Nexus line back when it comes to the Pixel. They're not bad phones are Pixel phones, but you know, I think uh, probably a, a little bit misstep when it comes to pure Android. I think uh, OnePlus is taking the title of the like Nexus alternative, and uh, the V20 from LG. You know, I've got kind of mixed feelings in regards to that. Uh, it's a solid phone, don't get me wrong, but I think the V10 uh, was a bit more exciting. And the iPhone 7, well, you know, again, solid phone, but yeah, I think Apple could do a lot better, really. Uh, overall, I think uh, it's a very safe phone uh, with no headphone jack, which is quite annoying. So, yeah, just a quick little comparison here of the latest software, and I uh, hope you find it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.